some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Lodi, California, with a softard whose vehicle was towed because he parked in the wrong spot on somebody's private property. And now he's complaining about how much it's going to cost him to get it out of the tow yard. Oh, poor little guy. Well, maybe you should uh, think about that next time uh, instead of, uh, well, acting like you're a softard and thinking that you're above the law. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this freaking show on the road, shall we? We're out here at Gimmicky Collision Center in Lodi, California, where they just charged me $900 to get my property out of tow after they towed it off of, off of public, off of private property. So you knew it was private property to begin with, and uh, you decided to park there anyway. It sounds like a personal problem with your own, uh, well, limited intelligence or well, yeah, limited intelligence, I could say, because soft hearts tend to have a uh, bit of a low IQ when it comes to this kind of thing. Out of a store with these economic terrorists they call cops, you know, they say you have to have a license to operate your own personal property these days because they believe they're God and they can make these rules. And Oh, so you say this is a recent kind of thing that they've been doing this. Yeah, bullshit. If you actually look into the history of uh, driver's licenses and driving, uh, you'll realize and you'll find out that this kind of thing has been around since the automobile was invented in the early 20th century and the driver's license was created in 1899. And with good reason, too, because you don't want uninsured, unlicensed jackasses like yourself running around with no insurance or experience or anything like that on the roadways and hurt somebody and be unable to pay for the damages. I mean, that's just common damn sense. And make you follow whatever they want because, you know, they're gods. Because they have contracts with the people. Look at these fuckers. I'm not even going to do it. <laughs> this is what they like to do. Steal from the people. What goes around comes around. Oh, that that's rich. They like to steal from the people. Uh, Yeah, then how come I've never had my vehicles towed at all? Oh, wait. That's right. I actually have a driver's license, insurance, and everything else like that. Uh, yeah, and the only reason why I've ever had any of my vehicles towed is because they broke down. Like with my Honda, that ended up blowing in the engine. I mean, I don't know how that happened. It must have slung a rod. But the results were clear. Engine oil on the side of the road and a seized up engine. But say la vie. The moral ramifications of stealing people's property using contracts and fake forced insurance and forced licenses. Yeah. You don't have to have licenses and insurance to travel, dude. Just go get a bike, go ride a bus or something like that. But when you hop in behind the wheel of your own vehicle, you're supposed to have a license that way they know that you've been trained properly and are a responsible adult and have insurance that way well you can uh prove once again that you're a responsible adult and uh that way if anything happens well you will be responsible enough to take care of it with your insurance rather than paying out the ass for a mistake that you could have avoided forced insurance and forced licenses on the man and a woman of this nation that's just people. These people will be more than happy to steal your property with the Lodi Police Department. So go ahead and give them a call, guys. The Lodi Police Department. This is Give a Key RV in Lodi, California. They steal people's property. Look at this man. I didn't give nobody permission to go in my in my vehicle, but this man's gonna take my vehicle. See? Trespass in my vehicle. Oh, so you don't want people trespassing in your vehicle, but you had no problem parking the same vehicle on somebody else's 
property that didn't want your vehicle there to begin with and called the the tow truck company or the police or both to get it off. Oh, come on now, dude. That's a little bit of a double standard right there, isn't it? But of course, we can expect that from soft tarts. They want to have their cake and eat it, too. You just can't have it uh, your way all the time, you giblet head. Who are you? Who are you? Sorry? What's your name? Uh, my name's Don. And you were driving my vehicle? Yeah. Yeah? I wonder why, because you guys stole it with the police. You guys, you know... You guys stole it using the police, and you guys profit off and give them back kickbacks. Do you do you have a, do you have any type of say, anything to say about that? You know the Constitution says that we have the right to be secure in our personal papers, things, and effects from one wanted or unreasonable search and seizure. Hey, dipshit! It was the owner of the property that did that, not the government. And you better be damn careful of slander and libel laws, dude, because you'll end up in a world of shit if you say that to the wrong person. As far as uh, saying that uh, they're getting giving kickbacks to the police department with no evidence to back it up. Oh boy, that could get you in some deep shit. Oh, it's just to go read the Fourth Amendment. That's what I say. So the Fourth Amendment says that we have a right to be secure in our person, papers, things, and effects without having to force insurance, force registration, or force uh, uh, any of that, right? Because that's going to be on YouTube. Absolutely, I'm a, I'm a constitutional hey, law scholar. Love you. Oh my goodness, dude, where does it say anything about insurance in the Constitution, Mister Constitutional Law Scholar? That's a joke. Like, so, Thanks. yo, good night, man. Yeah, hey, go read the Constitution, on, brother. Man. Be a free man. Hey, don't do the Stop violating thing. people. Don't Stop violating thing. people's rights. Don't Stop do the hurting the public. Stop hurting the public. I will. I will because I'm a free man. I'm a free man. I'm a free man. You guys are con you guys are criminals. You guys are criminals. No hearts, no spine, no backbones. You guys are actually slaves of the system. That's okay. Go ahead and be a slave. Go ahead and be a slave. You'll be on the wrong side of history, bud. Wrong side of history. Wrong side of history, bud. Just to let you know that. Give it the RV in Lodi, California. Jesse James, pork press, baby. Pork press. Yeah, you're a dumbass. You ain't got no heart, bitch, or backbone. You're a bitch. Well, now that was entertainingly stupid. We got a soft heart who thinks that he knows the Constitution better than anybody else, but... When he just said something about insurance being in the Constitution, yeah, that just proved, well, you don't know jack squat about the Constitution. You really need to read up on the Constitution. So why don't you uh, go ahead and uh, pull your head out of your ass and take a look at what the Constitution really says, because there's nothing about it insurance in there whatsoever in fact the uh, constitution is very vague on a lot of things so at any rate guys i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one this could be some groundbreaking stuff right here Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?